Today, I'm going to compare two very compact phone gimbals, the Feiyu Tech Vlog Pocket and the Hoheem iSteady X. This is the first version of the Vlog Pocket and not the Vlog Pocket 2. From my experience, I've used the Vlog Pocket for traveling and I loved how small it is to fit almost anywhere. I took this gimbal on international trips and national trips. It was like my to-go-to phone gimbal for traveling. And this year, I got to travel the Hoheem iSteady X. And even though with this year with the situation, I didn't travel too much, so my experience of that is pretty limited. But from what I've used, I really enjoyed the shape and form factor of the iSteady X. Both are very small and pocketable, but because of how narrow the iSteady X is, it's more comfortable in my pocket. My biggest problem with the vlog pocket is how thick or wide the phone holder is. So when I have it in my pocket, it digs into my skin. Yes, it is slightly shorter when it's folded, but it's just not going to be as comfortable if you want to carry this all day. Now, if you do have a small bag with you, it doesn't matter which one you have, but I'm just talking about how it is inside your pocket. Now, both are very easy to use, but when you start using it, it's so small that it's not that comfortable to operate. Now, because the Hoheem iSteady X does have a joystick, you would probably spend more time reaching for the joystick and pressing the buttons versus the Vlog Pocket. Because the Vlog Pocket doesn't have a joystick and it does have a trigger button, so since the finger is already back there, it's just easy to access and it's just a bit more comfortable. And one huge con about the Vlog Pocket is it does charge through micro USB, which is going to be a huge con, especially in 2020. Now for the performance of the gimbals. If you want a really smooth experience or a smoother experience, then I would just pick the Hoheem iSteady X. The follow mode feels really natural when I'm panning and tilting. On the vlog pocket, when I'm panning, it's really responsive. So when I watch back my footage, it looks kind of jerky. There's a lot of times where I just didn't expect it to respond that fast. So for the Hoheem iSteady X, it's easier for me to do those smoother parallax shots. To use the follow mode on a vlog pocket, you would have to hold on to the trigger button. And at certain angles when I'm holding it, it can get a bit awkward. But in that certain case, it's very situational, so it's not going to happen too often. You can get both of these gimbals for about 70 bucks. And which one is the right one for you? I would pick the Hoheem iSteady X if you want to do more cinematic shots, if you want to smooth the experience, and especially if you want to put this in your pocket. It also have a joystick too, so if you want to be more precise on putting your phone in a certain direction, then it's going to be easier using that as well. And I think the Vlog Pocket is just really good for vlogging. If you don't want to focus too much on your shots, you just want to vlog your whole day, just capture your story, I think it does a good job doing that. If you are interested in getting any of these items, I do have the links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.